Hi, I'm Bart Pishaw, and today we'll be talking about Hans Leichmann's self-portrait from 1902. In this work, what we see is a figure from the waist up, Hans Leichmann himself, turned three quarters, yet looking at us with a decisive gaze. He wears a brown overcoat, a white silken tie tucked into a tight-fitted waistcoat, with a red upholstered chair behind him. What's important about Hans Leichmann's portrait here is that it combines two important elements that would define his career, pastel and portraiture. The soft, crumbly texture of pastel allows an incredible nuance and expression that we can't really see in oil painting. We see this especially in this portrait in two areas. Around his head, we see excessive detail, such as the, the each individual line of his mustache, or even the incredible array of blending of shadow around his head. Contrast that with the ways in which the shadows appear very chalk-like on the side of his overcoat. We see an incredible difference between the sort of painterly use of pastel on the bottom versus the incredible amount of veristic detail on the top. And it was just this kind of malleability of pastel that would prove formative for Lykma's later portraiture that would often be seen as resounding with a sort of pulsating vitality. This kind of portraiture, whether of Estonian peasants, of Tunisian Arabs or of black Africans were often uh, fundamental to Lykma's idea of using art as a vehicle for social change. Alongside other literary members of the Nordeasti or Young Estonia group, Lykma used art as a way to foster a sort of admiration among Estonians for their native culture. In his self-portrait and his dandy-like sort of stance that we see, what Ange Lykma is doing especially is declaring that himself this new, bold, daring figure of the professional ethnic Estonian artist also plays a formative role in these, this new era of revolutionary change.